Now, yesterday we were chatting through much of the show about the most hated food in the world, apparently being the anchovy. Yes. And asking whether that's the same here in Scotland. Now, far from it, because actually the anchovy got pretty good responses. But overwhelmingly, the most hated food was tripe. Ugh. It sounds horrible, doesn't it? Have you ever actually tried it? Okay, so no, I haven't. Right. But just the word puts me off. I'm sorry. Well, you see, neither have I. Mm. I've only heard the horror stories, but... <laughs> you might like it. Well, I might... See, this yeah. is the thing. I might try yeah. it and go, this is actually all right, and it gets a lot well, of bad press. Yeah, indeed. So, following the chat on the show this week, I have made myself guinea pig to try, for the first time, tripe. And with me here at Tullock Butchers in Paisley is Craig. Now, Craig, tell me some interesting facts about tripe. Try and sell it to me to make it a bit more appealing. Very difficult to sell it to you. It's an appealing... You either like it or you don't like it. It's an old-fashioned dish. Well, I've never tried it, hence the reason why I can't actually say I don't like it. So what would you say is the best way, if anybody's going to cook tripe or make it, what would you say is the best way to make tripe? Nowadays you get cooked tripe, which is cooked at a slaughterhouse in the abattoir by the slaughterman. And then they partially cook it and they put a bleach in it, which is an edible bleach to make it white and more palatable looking. And then you take it home, you'll boil it for 45 minutes, you'll then strain off the water, and you'll heat it up with milk and onions and add a golden one bit potato to thicken it up and give it a little bit more flavour. Well, we're about to find out if I'm brave or not. Craig and his team here at Tullocks have made some tripe, so I'm about to uh, do my bush tucker trial moment and go in. I'll be honest, not as bad as I would have thought. It's um, chewy, quite soft, quite meaty actually. Um, yeah, I think if I stuck with it, I might actually become a tripe lover. Thank you very much, then. It is a thing that you can acquire taste, and the more you try it, uh, you can try it with different ways, different types of seasonings in it, and it'll give it a different, slightly different flavour. But the nutritional value is very good, and that's what it's all about. It's a good, healthy Scotch food. Listen, you and everybody at Talk the Butchers have been so hospitable. Thank you very much indeed, and can I get a couple of pounds of that to take away? No bother at all. And enjoy it. I've been converted.